just a little runaway. Forty-seven years and still I'm on the run. Afraid of love, I'm keeping God at bay. Spending days in a nightmare ain't much fun. I am just a little runaway. For my misery, always blaming someone else. I'm really into judgment and delay, but only. Special day today. It's、uh, the Resurrection Day.、Um, happy Resurrection Day, everybody.、Um, in the world, it's called Easter, and、um, the focus is a little different with the Course in Miracles. The focus is not on the body;、uh, the focus is on the mind. And、um, so, the resurrection that we're all going for here is the resurrection of our minds. And、um, you know when you're needing resurrection of your mind when you're in a blame or complain mode about somebody or something. And I had an interesting thought come up this morning. And on the way over here, I just shared with my mighty companions. It, this thought kept rolling around, and it was about wanting to make someone wrong. And I didn't need to give names. I didn't need to give details. I just said, you know, got a reoccurring thought going on right now, and it. I don't need to take up space in my head, and that's really all I needed to do. In the presence of mighty companions that can hold that space and、um, hold the love that we all are. So、um, today, given it is Resurrection Day,、um, we have a special guest.、Um, at least in my heart,、uh, a, a resurrected being、um, that is a goddess of love, and.、Um, I wanted her to share because one of the things we do in community is to use function to keep us focused when we're having difficulty looping in our minds、uh, one way or another. And this woman,、um, I join with her on so many levels. <laughs> She's a gift from God for me.、Um, She's so, shown me grace, and、um, I've been joining with her every day, and it's it's my blessing. And she's going to share with us how she has held the light when perhaps life didn't look like it was worth light lighting. So I hope Lila's out there. Lila, are you here? <laughs> she's not there. Okay, we have some technical <laughs> difficulties going on. Lila didn't show up today, so. All right. <laughs> this is live TV, folks. This is what it looks like. <laughs>、um, then I'm going to share about function because I know function and I know how to lift my head out of the dark places that it goes. And this is beyond the body, and this is about Jesus showing us the way to do it. Jesus's life was the, the example. It wasn't the body; it was what he did with his mind that was the important piece,、um, and that's what this day is all about. Can we? Are we willing to resurrect our mind from making situations or people wrong or right? Even、um, can we not place blame? Can we not complain? You know, even I posted this a while back on my Facebook page. Um, can you go 24 hours without complaining? It'll change the world. Your world will look completely differently, and it really is. That is what A Course in Miracles is talking about.、Um, where, in our minds, are we not holding light and love? Where are we complaining? Where are we finding fault?、Um, and one of the things I wanted to share with Lila today, and I'll just because we've been talking all week, I'll. I'll just sit in for Lila.、Um, she was in community for a long time. She's now living in Hawaii, but she was living in community for a long time, and、um, she had a great story of sitting on the porch at the monastery in outside of Camas, Utah, and、um, she and David were sitting on the porch, and they looked down into the the canyon, the, the empty field below, and. And David said to <laughs> to Lila, "I see a stage." And Lila said, 
so do I. And it was a, a moment when Strawberry, the Strawberry Festival that we have coming up in August, was born. And the next thing David said to Lila was, I see you taking this as yours. And um, she, and this is where yes is so important. Where are you saying yes? Where are you not saying yes? Where are you withholding a yes? Because it's through that freedom is found. And it's by holding back and going, no, 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 it can't look like that. It, it's not like that. That's where we get stuck. And that's where we get looped into negative thinking. And that's not helpful. So Lila at that moment said yes. And she has some great parables about working on the first strawberry festival. Uh, Lila was, um, we come from the same generation. And she uh, was at Woodstock. I might admit that I was traveling cross country back and forth selling drugs at the time and I was too busy to go to Woodstock. But that was another lifetime and I've forgiven myself for it. <laughs> but Lila went to Woodstock and, and so she had this experience of, of being at a big festival and so she was the person to say yes on that porch with David and take on the festival and she didn't know how to do it and there was a uh, Kristen has shared in a Facebook Live um, not too long ago about walking into a room where Lila was during the pre, you know, phase of the festival. And she was, she had scraps of paper everywhere in the room, just little piles of paper. And she was sitting on the floor. And Kirsten walked in and said, I'm here to help. And it's like Lila didn't miss a beat. She knew that help would be sent she trusted the process she knew it was hers to to sit and as she she said so beautifully this week she said it was my job to take notes i'm here to take notes and so sitting on the floor within with all these piles of paper around her she took notes knowing that help was coming and it came in the form of Chris, kirsten at that time and she didn't doubt, she kept going into, this is what's been given me, this is my yes, this is my access to heaven. And it's not what I'm doing, it's how am I holding it in my mind? Am I making it wrong? Am I complaining about it? Is it, is, does it not look right? People aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, she never fell into that and that's why she's, she's quite frankly a, a huge role model for me and I'm so, happy to have been able to join with her this past week and now I'm sharing her parables but it doesn't matter on the body I could be Lila I am Lila <laughs> and and she's just allowing me to speak through her um, in this form right now and uh, so the strawberry festival I just want to give it a plug is happening this August in Utah and uh, go to livingmiracles.org and you can find a tab in there somewhere that will link you back into the festival and find out details of it. I do understand that housing is somewhat limited at this point because um, there, there's lots of camping available, but if you want a bed in a bunk room or if you want a room, you'd better call soon because those are going quickly. And this festival I really see as kind of a, a testament to saying yes. And, Lila and David sitting on the porch uh, at the monastery and seeing a stage, you know, and that's listening to the guidance from Holy Spirit. It doesn't look necessarily look like we think it should look like. Just like doing this program. This is my yes. And, um, and it's interesting because Lila didn't want to co-host this program. I had somewhat of a little breakdown early on because I really thought it was going to be her and I. And it's interesting that she's not on this program because it's Lila's way of saying, this is your yes. And, and she kept telling me, it's this program, Beyond the Body, is my strawberry festival. And we all have something. And sometimes it looks like, and it has for me a lot, um, house cleaning, you know, cleaning a toilet, doing the dishes. Those are yeses too. Am I able to take this, this state of mind, this holy state of mind into those functions? 
because they're God-given functions. Everything is God-given function. Um, it was, and my introduction into this was some functions that didn't look. There was an interesting comment. I, um, I'm a member of the prayer and support team. I'm just going to be plugging <laughs> Living Miracles functions. Um, I'm a member of the prayer and support team for Living Miracles. And I posted a Facebook Live this week, and there was a gentleman that, that came on and commented that, you know, there's too many problems in life. You know, A Course in Miracles doesn't work. And all I can say is the problems are the access out. And I got this early on with a foreclosure on a, a beautiful piece of property I owned in the mountains um, for a decade and uh, thought it was going to be a retreat space for, for doing spiritual gatherings. And unfortunately, my script included a foreclosure. And um, I had to do some forgiveness work to forgive a big bank who I severely hated and I did see it a problem at, at one time but what I've really come to learn is it was a gift I was giving myself can you forgive this because if you can forgive this you can have access to the ultimate freedom the ultimate joy in life which is why we're here to be joyous our function is to be happy and we're given we give ourselves our scripts to do that and if you're in an ugly divorce take that one on can you learn to be joyous in this can you forgive a partner that you find unforgivable this is the access to beyond the body and our function is to forgive it's to take on uh, those situations that seem like we can't go through we can't handle we can't do ourselves it's like well we don't have to but we do need to pray and trust that holy spirit's going to guide us through whatever we're needing to do with it so yeah function it's all about function what are you doing today to resurrect your mind and if you find yourself kissing bunnies or coloring eggs great and if you find yourself having horrible thoughts about people in your life great because neither one of them is better than another they both had give us access to raising our mind with Holy Spirit to find love to find joy to find to find peace and that's what the scripts are and they're all written because we came into this life looking for more than everything and the reality is there is not more than everything so these scripts are just our access back to everything and um, that's why I'm, I, I love A Course in Miracles it, it saved my life um, and it made the lives of those around me that don't exist a lot happier. <laughs> I wasn't blaming them nearly as much. Um, yeah, so is Lila on by any chance? Just now that I've shared her whole stomach, she's still not here, huh? God bless her. <laughs> Lila, we'll talk later. <laughs> Um, well, I'll give a plug for my thir the 30 day program. Um, I, if you're looking for a function and this is okay. All right. Holy spirits kind of giving me some downloads here. Um, on the prayer and support team, one of the things that we're gifts that we give to everybody is, um, function that most people that call parent support are feeling alone or they're feeling unhappy. Those are the two reasons that people tend to call parent support. And in our team, we are there to serve by giving you a way to join so that you're not feeling alone. Join with mighty companions that can hold you in the light and the love that you are. And, and you can find happiness by doing them. And one of the, the um, gifts, Living Miracles, by the way, has lots of things to offer. I, I was amazed. I, I wrote up the list for our prayer and support team, and I had over 12 items listed that people can participate in. 
And one of them is kind of near and dear to my heart. And Jeff, uh, who sets up this program uh, with the Zoom room every day, it's also something that he's very, very involved with, um, is a 30-day Unwind Your Mind experience. And I invite you to join it. It's free, so you can't use that excuse to not do this. Um, all you have to do is livingmiracles.org, go to Circle of Support, and you can find it right there. Um, and with that being said, you click on it, you say yes, you join, and every day, it starts, the next one starts April 9th, and every day uh, for 30 days, you'll get an email that has David's parables, quotes, videos, it'll have something of inspiration to kind of focus your day around. And in addition, that's not all, folks. It's kind of like there's free toasters everywhere in this program. You sign up for the program, you'll get into the private Facebook group, um, which is on, it's on Facebook, and it's a closed group, so you can share and express a lot without being seen by the public. And there's a lot of beautiful miracles that happen in this group. Uh, profound, profound things have happened, and we've only been doing it for a couple of times now. And um, so I invite you to join that group and start sharing what's troubling you. Where are you finding problems in your life? And allow the mighty companions that are available on that program to help lift you out. Um, and not all that you get with your 30-day Unwind Your Mind experience. Jeff also does a virtual movie every week. So you get to, through a Zoom room, will join in a free movie that is also geared to kind of lift you up and, um, oh, they're giving me, <laughs> Kristen's with me. Okay, they've got, oh man, there's way too much going on here for someone with ADD. Okay, we have got, Kristen's here also, and Kristen and I have, <laughs> have worked together on Unwind Your Mind, many, oh my God, we've done lots of social media stuff together, and, and, um, yeah, and you're very familiar with the Unwind Your Mind program as well as a lot of the other gifts that we have to give through Living Miracles. And so maybe this day is just taking a little turn to give you some options for function because through function, you can lift yourself up. Yeah, I have no idea why I'm sitting here actually. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to go with it. This is our Lila. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, actually, what I was feeling really inspired by was a conversation you and I were having, I don't know, it was just yesterday or the other day, we were talking about commitment, and I just feel like, um, yeah, it's been so inspiring watching your journey, actually, because there's there's been these strong themes of sickness, and it's been very, very inspiring watching you just recommit and recommit and recommit to the healing and the deep prayer, and we were just swirling the other day, I mean, so loud <laughs> Just laughing and laughing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I wondered if maybe you wanted to share a little bit more about that, like the way through the doubt and the uncertainty and really anything else yeah. is just recommitting. And it is a recommit. And it's not even a recommitting. It's, am I willing to recreate myself um, on a moment by moment basis? And it was, again, like coming, we were driving over here together, and, and I was in the back seat, and I just said, okay, I just need to say this. I had a negative thought about somebody. And it was like, and you didn't need to say anything. And it was me willing to, to take on, that's not going to be helpful. Having that thought is not going to be helpful. And it's like in every moment, it's kind of like, and this is, and if you're in pain, Oh, I can't tell you the power of this one. And also Spiri, not to mention another freebie that we have. Spiri has helped me with symptomatic pain. So if you have a headache, if your neck hurts or low back or you're sneezing, do a Spiri on it. Because you can put a symptom into Spiri and it can access to a belief system that you have and it's profound healing. And it's like, and that's really... That is the access to heaven, and that's why we're here. And, I, and it's not about what the form looks like. And I read this piece at the end that's in the obstacle 
obstacles to peace. The body is an obstacle to peace if we use it that way. If we're using our bodies to get somewhere or be something, and I must say, I, <laughs> I tried losing five pounds my whole life. Then it went up to 10 pounds and then 50 pounds and we're not even gonna go there anymore. I don't need to lose weight anymore. This is the perfect vehicle that I gave myself, I gifted myself to wake up with. So it is my script to be happy with. And these are symptoms that you can take to Spiri. And I, I, for me, Spiri and the Instrument for Peace were key. Yeah, I think they're all really valuable tools to like very practically to help you move through whatever, whatever you're experiencing. That's not, that's not profound happiness. Right. And um, yeah, again, I guess I just feel inspired by this idea of commitment and prayer actually is what's coming through. I remember um, David sharing last night in a movie gathering that we were having here, uh, public gathering at La Casa de Milagros. And um, he was just sharing, like, you have to really want to get in touch with your communication device. And so like, these are all fantastic ways and, you know, just, it's what comes through mm -hmm. to, to be able to extend in a very practical way, how to get in touch with your communication device, being the Holy Spirit for your intuition. But um, yeah, again, that's just where my inspiration is in joining mm -hmm. with you and just because I've seen that happen so much in, in our assignment, we've had, uh, <laughs> we were really joined for quite some time. I'm going to share very, something. Very I'm going to share something and I love you. Oh. You don't know how much I love her. <laughs> and it didn't always start out this way. Go for it, Calico. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, we were joined in function initially, and I don't even remember, I don't know, a year ago. ago. Was, yeah, it was a while ago. We have an extension function, actually. We were really joined in social media, which is you know, of course, right. all about extending, extending, extending the message. And it's, it comes, you know, has to really come from this authentic place in order to really be felt. And I mean, that's really what you want for yourself as well. So we have this function, which is extending the message, and then all of this healing and just, you know, Lots massive of amounts of goodness. You see, I see, I see Kristen as, as one of my saviors that I gifted myself. Totally. And I adore her but it didn't start out that way. Initially there was, I was conflicted. And um, <laughs> I don't remember saying this, but someone pointed out that I did say this because we're, we're committed to being open and honest and speaking about communication. It means being rigorously honest. And for the most part, when it comes up, you don't wanna. You know, the last thing you wanna do is share what's really on your mind. But, keep going towards your brother and keep going towards your brother because your brother is the freedom from whatever su suffering you have and um I, I had a lot of suffering and then i brought you into my script yeah that's something we talk quite a lot about here actually and um i'm just even reflecting on this morning when um the whole team here just joined and what feels so powerful to me whenever i can really get in touch with it whenever it feels very present and always grateful for the reminders is that it's really about the relationships because every relationship you have is your relationship with God. Yeah. So just continuing to go towards your brother and knowing that whatever the shows look like, Oh, Lila's not here. Okay. Keep going. Like, do we all feel, do we all feel the spirit here with us? And the answer is yes. And yeah, just yeah. going a little blank on that in a moment, but, but really that, that it's about the relationships yeah. and that they don't always look like, um, like rainbows and butterflies, like there's a tremendous amount of healing that happens to really feel the connection consistently. Right. And um, in fact, the bigger us. the bigger the upset, the bigger the breakthrough, and the bigger the miracle. And um, I rem someone said I don't remember saying this, but someone said at one point early on, <laughs> Kristen and I, I said I would rather chew my arm off than join with Kristen. <laughs> And, you know, the reality is, yes, I remember the upset, and it was my upset. It had nothing to do with her. It had absolutely nothing to do with her. And the, the beauty was that she was committed to me like I was committed to her. And we stuck like glue. We didn't let go. Yeah, we just kept going towards it. And, yeah. you know. Talk, talk, yeah. share. 
and really it always had to come from this place of softness because there's yeah. like in every assignment that you have, you know, whether it's very clear, okay, we're working on a project together, or if it's just somebody that you encounter in the street or really, which, however, these encounters yeah. happen, there's a gift that you have for one another. And I know that Calico's gift for me has just been this deep softening, actually, like coming from a place of like, it's about getting the project done. It's about really everything but love. And then there's one who, who's given me to continue to break those walls down. And that's right. exactly what's, what it's looked like. Right. And, um, you know, even continues to look like as we just yeah. continue to go deeper together, but it's really been very profound. And the, this assignment has lasted months and months and months. And here I am sitting with her now and we get to share the miracle of it. And it will continue. I'm, I'm, I, I'm being given a high sign here, <laughs> but I just, I need to share that this is really on, you know, on the road, on the, on the battleground or the playing field, as the case may be, um, this is what it looks like. And this is, the. I mean, I'm blessed to be in community, but again, we have many ways that you can join with Living Miracles and, and join with Mighty Companions. And so I just, I, I give you the opportunity to uh, go to livingmiracles.org and find out the many ways that you can join because the breakthroughs are profound and um yeah yeah so it's worth it it's totally worth it totally doable and totally worth it well thanks for letting me crash your party calico <laughs> anytime babe anytime um i just want to i love reading this from the obstacles for peace to end the program with because um it is what beyond the body is about this is how you do it and this is what beyond the body is about Yet would I offer you my body, you whom I love, knowing its littleness, or would I teach that bodies cannot keep us apart? Mine is of no greater value than yours, no better means for communication of salvation, but this body is not its source. No one can die for anyone, and death does not atone for sin, but you can live to show that it is not real. The body does appear to be the symbol of sin while you believe that it can get you what you want, while you believe that it can give you pleasure, you will also believe that it can bring you pain. To think you could, not be, could, to think you could be satisfied and happy with so little is to hurt yourself. And to limit the happiness that you would have calls upon pain to fill your meager store and make your life complete. This is completion as the ego sees it, for guilt creeps in where happiness has been removed and substitutes for it. Communion is another kind of completion which goes beyond guilt because it goes beyond the body. So find some way to resurrect your mind today and go out and be joyous, color an egg, kiss a bunny. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Till next, next time. <laughs> it was just a tiny mad idea At which the son of God